Chef Eddie back in the kitchen again today. You know, we got the chicken wings cooking over there. And you know what? I wanted to show you something that I, I had for a long time and I've always used it. But I, I said, you know what? Maybe I should do a little video about what's going on here. You know, I know many of you drink coffee. Huh? You go whether, whether, whether you make it at home, whether you make it on a pot, you make a coffee machine, no matter what it may be. Some of you, I'm sure, have heard of the Bowden cold coffee machine, eh, but if, for those of you who haven't, I'm going to give you a little education, a little tutorial as to what's going on when you make cold coffee instead of cooking it in a breeder. Now, I've, I've drank coffee all my life. I'm sure all of us have. You go to the store, you buy the Starbucks at five bucks a pop, you go over there and buy Seattle's Best, you go to this grocery store, you buy the coffee you got all kind of coffee machines out there. You got the little single maker. You got it all the way up to the commercial grade. Now, when you talk about coffee, my friend Joe Sante, dear friend of mine. Remember this, Joe? You, you recommended me to buy the Gagia titanium coffee machine. You put the beans, the whole beans up on top here. You fill the water in the back. You turn the machine on, and it squirts out espresso, cappuccino, no matter what it may be. I bought this machine back in as early as 2003 or 2004, I can't remember. But I do know it's got a timer, a counter. 37,000 cups of coffee came out of that machine. If I turned it on, I could show you how many actual cups of coffee. Never had a breakdown in it, never had any damage. So I would recommend if anybody wants, it's a couple thousand dollars. But you know what? After 36,000 cups of coffee and it's still running like a day I bought it, you might well think about making one of those as your next purchase. But today we're gonna to specialize right here in the Bowden cold, cold Coffee Machine. So what we're gonna do, let's get right to it. The Bowden Coffee Machine is a very simple machine. I couldn't believe it. It just comes here in a pitcher, and what you do, you just dump, I already put some cold water for the refrigerator, it's filtered water. You always wanna use filtered water. You know, and another thing, Everybody says, what do you need bottled water for? It's the same thing. You're spending all the money. No, you're not. Okay? United States of America, they have a minimum for everything. All right? They, and what happened in the minimum, they got 185 TDS, 300 TDS, no matter what it may be. That's total dissolved solids, for those of you that don't know what that is. And that's all of the stuff that's floating around in the water. And there's a, a guideline for the state minimum as to how much it could be allowed for them to send it through the taps right to your house, okay? I bought myself a TDS meter, total dissolved meter. And what it is, it's a simple meter. You stick it right down in some water and it instantly comes up with a number from zero up to 350, 400. Zero meaning mineral, listen to that, huh? Minimal, mineral grade, it's medical grade. Top of the line, zero, they use it in hospitals, and then you go all the way to the other end, spectrum, sewage water, okay? And if you got a total, decide, total dissolved solids meter, and you stuck it in there, you might get around 150, 225, 280, depending on where you live. Uh, it, spring water, sure, spring water sounds great, but you'd be surprised how many total dissolved solids are in that stuff. But anyway, you get yourself one, at least with the bottled water, it gets down. Aquafina, I believe, was like down to four. That's a hell of a good water. Spring water, you're going to get about maybe 80 or 90. All depends on what you're getting. But for right now, we're going to discuss this. Now, we put the water in here. Now, normally, I, I, I just go buy Starbuck beans and I put it in the bean grinder. Now, you got to remember, it boils the water. It goes over it. So you're actually searing the bean. All right? So... You're searing the bean, you're, you're burning it, you're getting the caffeine out of it. This is the slow motion way of doing it, all right? This is the slow. So as you take, you just take your grounds and you just dump it right in there. Two, let's go three, four, whatever you want to do. Five, I like my coffee strong. Okay, there we go. And give it a little swirl in there. And now what we got, we got all of those grounds down in that water. Ah, yes, that's what it's going on right now. So we're gonna leave that sit, rinse this off. Now, we got two things, we got the lid. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this lid on it. We're gonna set it in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight. And what's gonna happen, all of the caffeine that's in those grinds are gonna filter into the water. Yes, there's no burning, it's, you're not gonna sear it. It's naturally gonna come out and it's a lot stronger as far as caffeine, it's almost supercharged. 
So what we'll do, and this, this little thing here, this is what, when we're done tomorrow with the lid, we take it off, and you put this down on there, and you're going to press it. You're going to set it on there, it seals itself tight, lock it down, and with this, you press it down. And what we have here is we've got a little screen, and this screen's going to filter through the water out but keep all of the grounds down to the bottom. So you're going to have pure, high-test coffee. All that goodness, all that caffeine, it's all going to be right at the top there, and all the grounds are going to be on the bottom. You dump the grounds out, and there you go. You got an instant set of coffee. So what we're going to do, we're going to use that tomorrow, but for now, we're going to just stick this down, lock it down, it seals it, and we're done. Take a look at that. Now, we're going to, let me pan around here. Here it is. It's the Bodum Cold Coffee Press. This is a coffee. It's what it's called, a press. Take a look at that. All of that. Now, all of them grounds are going to filter down in there. All of the beans, all the caffeine, all everything's going to mix with the water. And by tomorrow, we're going to have super high-test coffee. I hope you enjoyed a little tutorial as to what's going on here. Uh, you can see that they're still cooking back. It's going to be cooking for a while, okay? It's going to be a little bit more longer than chicken wings because we got a lot more meat in there to cover. But as soon as it gets done, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you what it's all about, and life is going to be good. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'll be back to you soon.